The Kitimat River runs along the town of Kitimat and drains into the Pacific Ocean. The waters here see a seasonal abundance of steelhead, chinook, coho, chum, and pink salmon. Typically steelheads will be active in these waters starting in March, though I was warned several times they were a little bit behind this year. But a bad day of fishing sounded better than a good day of work, and off we went. I headed down to the river with Kitimat's expert local fishing guides, Tyler and Eric. Well, expert fishing guides might be a bit of a stretch. More like two friendly guys who had a truck and knew where the river was. Oh, bump. Oh, sorry. Didn't see that one. Yeah, oh wait. <coughs> Crazy driver. This is what we need. We need to find, like, the fishing spot. That's where I'm at right now. Like, this is the spot. This could be I it. think this, this could, be, could be. I think it could be, man. Like, it's a good spot. Last time you guys were here, did you catch anything? Well, no, because no. we did. We came at the wrong time, right? Trying to catch a fish. Yes. Yeah. We got the tie. We know it's on. We're within the time frame. I'm feeling pretty good. Great. About okay. catching this. Too. Got the fishing beers. Yeah. Oh, dude, we got, got the modellos. The modellos. And what, the red and white hook? That was the secret, supposedly? It is. Uh, no, well, no. It blue. Well, apparently copper. blue. Apparently I've blue. got a blue and I got a copper. Blue, uh, these little spoons, those are the secrets. I, you know, I'm from Alberta. You know, trout, they hit anything red. You can throw a fucking piece of cloth off your shirt on a fucking hook, throw it in there. As long as it's red, a trout's gonna hit it. Oh yeah, bud. Here we are. That didn't even take five minutes, did it? Ooh. Yeah, we're almost it's there. It's the fucking beautiful. Spring is in the air. Right. She gets chopped. Yeah, little hairy up here. Just pull off to the little yeah, side. This In the end, we did see a couple otters swimming around and snagging a few fish, but the only thing we caught was a bit of sun in our hats and some great views of the Kitimat River. And, like a lot of my fishing stories, fish one, fisherman zero.